Hello viewers and welcome back to an amazing place where you can come across many exciting topics and discussions. Today, we'll be traveling through a fantastical place of animation with whole new characters and lots of rich history. Now, I'm not talking about the animated world of Disney or Pixar. I know you're already familiar with them. And you might want to explore something new, something different. So I present to you the splendid world of Hungarian animated cinema. Its journey started in 1910, when Hungarian artists thought to themselves, how do I send a message of nationalism on screen with a median that's full of creative liberty? Yes, Hungarian animation actually started with sentiments of nationalism. If I'm being honest, there's a constant pattern of nationalism even in modern Hungarian animations. But the true journey of development in animation began as Hungarian artists became much more experimental in the 1960s. And do you know who ushered this wave of innovation into the world of Hungarian animation? Well, it's the most famous Hungarian animator of all time, Marcel Jakovic. He made the first animated feature film for his country. The film was called Johnny Corncob and was released back in 1973. This animated film has done wonders for Hungary. Its aesthetics of this film are so unique and filled with details. It's strongly inspired by the country's native folklore and mythology. The film is mainly based on a 18 45 poem by the national poet of Hungary, Sandor Petofi. We can say that Jakovic was a nationalist in his own right, but his works were much more subtle. They concentrated deeply on the essence of Hungarian culture and its pride and heroism. His visual style is one of a kind. There's an interesting technique that he uses that in his animations that makes them so delightful. It's the intrinsic translations. An odd shape transforms into another shape, creating interesting sequences in the animation. He also beautifully uses psychedelic colors to paint a world that seems bizarre, too different, yet contains many hidden meanings. Jankovic also loved to use 2D animation instead of computer graphics. He believed that hand-drawn animations have a certain magic to them. And do you know which of the first Hungarian animated films won the Palme d'Or at the Cannes Film Festival? Well, as you can guess, this milestone was also achieved by Jankovic. His short film, The Struggles, released in 1977, won the Palme d'Or for the best short film. And you know what the most amazing part of this is? It's that it's a black and white animation. It's the story of the sculptor's dedication to complete his masterpiece perfectly. From what we've discussed till now, we can say that Marcel Tchaikovic is the main sculptor of the bright animated world we are exploring. Hungarian animation reached its peak in the 70s and 80s. However, the animation industry of the country has seen some great talents. Some of the most notable animators of the Hungary are Reka Busic, Joseph Kemes, and Sandor Reisen Bucello. The Hungarian animated films that you should watch to experience the splendid world most closely are Nights in the Boulevard, released back in 1972. Sifus, Foam Bath, The Song of the Miraculous Hind, and of course, the Palme d'Or winning animation, The Struggle. Well, I hope you enjoyed emerging in the glimpses of Hungarian animated cinema. Please drop in the comments your favorite animated films and, of course, the lesser known ones that we might not know about. We'll be back with more exciting discussion, so stay tuned for more.